Okay, David Kane here. I've got another question on topic 7.1 for you on uh, decay equations. We have radium-226 that undergoes radioactive decay to spontaneously form an alpha particle and radon. We're given the masses, but that's for a different part of the question that we're not going to do just yet. Uh, so we can ignore the masses for now. We just want to complete the nuclear reaction equation below. Radium-226 becomes something and some isotope of radon. Uh, well, they told us what it becomes. It becomes radon and an alpha particle. So the other thing is that alpha particle. Uh, there's these blank spaces for us to fill in the properties of these uh, particles. Uh, the alpha particle has four nucleons, two of which are protons. So two protons, two neutrons for a total of four nucleons. So then what does the radon uh, isotope have? Uh, well, if we started with 226 nucleons and took out four of them to form the alpha particle, what remains is 222 nucleons. Similarly, if we started with uh, 88 protons and took out two of them to form the alpha particle, then there are only 86 protons for uh, radon. Now, the number of protons in an atom or in, in an equation like this doesn't necessarily have to be equal. So 88 doesn't necessarily have to equal 2 and 86. But in the case of alpha decay, uh, no protons are becoming neutrons, no neutrons are becoming protons. So in the case of alpha decay, the number of protons will be conserved, as will the total number of nucleons. 